All right, so this next category is find the radi radius, radia given the area of a segment number one. So that's pretty much the radius. I don't know if that's a typo or not, but essentially we're just finding the radius. Okay. If the area of the segment shown below is 225 pi minus 450 square inches, what is the radius of the circle? Okay. So this picture is exactly the same thing that we had in the last video. Um, so it's the same formula we're going to use. However, last time we were given the radius and we were supposed to find the area. This time it's reverse. We are given the area, we're trying to find the radius. So let me first write down that formula that we had. The formula that we had in the last category was one fourth pi r squared minus one half r squared. Okay, so there's literally two ways that you can do this on um, either way is valid. So I'll show you both ways. I'm gonna write this underneath because that is the area of the segment and this is the formula for the area of the segment. So it should be equal to 225 pi minus 450, just 450. Okay, so both of these ways, or I'll show you, I'm not going to show you both ways. I think the easiest way, I'll just show you the easiest way. The easiest way is to know that um, this stuff are equal to each other. Also, this stuff is equal to each other too, but that's going to be a slightly more complicated way. So let's just focus on this side, the right side. So I'm going to write it as one half r squared is equal to 450. So one half r squared was the 450. That's the part that got subtracted, okay? So we're gonna use that side. And then let's solve for r because r is our radius and we want to find the radius. So let's solve for the radius. Let's get rid of this one half fraction. I'm gonna do that by multiplying both sides by two because fractions are division columns. So the opposite of dividing is multiplying. That will cancel this out. You will get r squared is equal to 450 times two is 900. Sorry, that says 900. And then we have r squared is equal to 900. So how do you get rid of squared? You take the square root of both sides. The square root and the square will cancel with each other out. You will get r is equal to 30. So the radius is 30. By the way, if you don't know the square root of 900, you can always type that out on the calculator. <clears throat> Let me find the button. Square root is right here of 900 is 30. So if you need a calculator, use Delta Mass. It's right there for you. Not W3, just, the, just 30. There you go. All right, let's do another. All right, so same idea. Let me erase some of the stuff. So I left that formula up there because we're using the same formula, okay? And then I'm gonna write this underneath here. So 144 pi minus 228. So the part that's being subtracted, this thing, they're equal to each other. So let me rewrite just that part. We have one half r squared is equal to 228. Okay, so same steps, you wanna get r the radius by itself. So let's multiply by two to get rid of the fraction. Then you get r squared is equal to 456. And then you're gonna get rid of the squared by square rooting, square rooting, that cancels with each other. And the square root of 456, if you don't know it, press the calculator button. And then let's say this is empty. You use the square root button, 456, you get 21.35. Right, so it doesn't tell us how much to round it to. So let me pause for a moment and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I checked and it turns out we made a typo over here. So by the time you watch this video, um, 
I'm not going to re-record this, but by the time you watch this video, this number should be changed to 288, okay? So sorry about the confusion there. That number should already be changed to 288. So this is 288. So when you multiply 288 times two, like literally just solving it with the same steps, 288 times two, that gives you the square root of 576. And then when you type that in the calculator, it should give you 24. So the answer for this one is 24. Okay, so sorry about that. I, I fixed it on your, um, your assignment, so it should be 24. Final answer, 24. We're going to do a few more examples because of this uh, typo. So I'm going to do two more examples for you guys. Let's erase all of this. Same, um, what's it called? Same formula, same steps. All right, writing it in. I wanted to write in black. Why is it in red? Come on. Okay. So I just wrote that over here. And remember that the thing that's subtracted is equal. So one half r squared equals 72. I'm going to multiply by 2. That cancels that out. Multiply by 2. You get r squared is equal to 144. Then you square root both sides. And then you get r is equal to, if you don't know it, that's okay. You can type it in. r is equal to 12. So same step. Here's your formula. Take the part that's being subtracted, set them equal to each other. Multiply by two, take the square root, that's your answer. Let's do one more. Same steps though. Okay, so I'm gonna write this here. Remember that these are equal. So let's write it down. Multiply by two. R squared is equal to 196. Square root, square root, those cancel. We get R is equal to, I don't know that one off the top of my head. Let's type it in. Square root of 96 gives you 14. All right, hopefully that was enough examples for you guys. So there's no reason you could have gotten any of those wrong because we did it together. Now it's your task to do five, six, seven on your own. I'll see you in the next video for Radians and Degrees.